What's going on everybody, Jesse here. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can set up and schedule tasks or cron tasks for your database really, really simply using the Wayscript programming platform. So as an example, uh, I've built a flow here that every day will run and query my database for my users and then send each one a custom text message. So let's jump into how this works. So every Wayscript program can run via a series of different triggers, in this case, I've set a time trigger and have my program running every day at 9.30 a.m. So this is my schedule or cron component where now anything that takes place in my flow will happen every day at 9.30 a.m. The next thing I've done in my flow is added uh, MySQL database. So you can add just by dragging and dropping the libraries onto your flow diagram. Uh, it was really easy to connect my database. You just give it the URL endpoint and then you can write any type of SQL query. So in this case, I'm just selecting all of my users. I get a preview here uh, and it displays my table to me. So in this example, right, I am have uh, the first names, the phone numbers, and the stocks of my users. So I'm importing by labeling them each of those three columns from my database. And then those become accessible as variables in my program. So now I have the three columns as variables and I wanna loop through them to send a custom text message to each row or to each user. So I am able to drag in my loop and plug in these columns and then create new variables called name, number, and stock, which become here. So this will be each individual item as it runs through this loop for each uh, row of the columns. Uh, in this case, you could really do anything. So you could run Python scripts or use third-party APIs, build CSVs, whatever you want. For this example, as you saw, I'm pulling in stock tickers as if the user wanted a daily stock update. So I'm using a library called AlphaVantage that's on the platform. I'm getting the most recent stock data. The input is the stock. So I'm able just to select that variable and I'm pulling out the open, high, low, and close prices for each of those stocks. As you can see in real time, those are available, available in my variables. And then I have Twilio. So this is how I'm gonna just send a text message. I've already plugged in my API data information, which I just grabbed from the Twilio uh, dashboard, really easy to set up, and my phone number. And then you're able to reference your variables in your program with square brackets. So in this case, I just hard coded plus one and then square brackets the number of each one of my users from the database. And then in the body of the text message, I'm able to say, hi, name, uh, here is the data for your stock. And for each one of these square bracketed items, it will replace it with the value of that variable. So that's it. Now we have a scheduled system set up that every morning my users are gonna get a custom stock update by querying my database. And as more users are added to my database, it will just automate and automatically pick them up. I hope you like this content. Please subscribe if you wanna see more, and I hope you give us a try. Please feel free to reach out, leave comments, and thanks for watching, bye.